Hi guys! <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. I truly appreciate you. I love you, so let's tap in. Grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink. Do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tash is going to spill the tea. Straight, no chaser, no sugarcoating bullshit. It is what it is, guys. I love you. I hope you've had a beautiful night. Let me know where you are in this world. Let's send some prayers out to those who are in the wake of this hurricane and who are in the Middle East, okay? Because these hurricanes aren't natural, they aren't normal, and neither is genocide, okay? So prayers up always. Cheers, guys. Mm. Use your discernment. These are timeless general and collective readings, so they may or may not resonate from start to finish. It's YouTube. It's for entertainment. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just that. So let's dive in with the Neon Tarot deck and see what's going on. Spirit Guides, I'm going to do an eight-card spread. One, one, one on my clock. Let's get this going. One more. One more shuffle. And let's cut the deck. Because my cards are slippery, I have to pull them automatically. Okay, so nine of pentacles. Two of Pentacles. The Chariot. The Tower. Now underneath the Nine of Pentacles is the Knight of Wands. Underneath the Two of Pentacles is the Judgment. Underneath the Chariot is the Hierophant. And then underneath the tower is the Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Satch. What else do we have? We have Scorpio, Taurus, and... And yeah. So... What I'm seeing and feeling is that you, my beautiful collective, are single, self-sufficient, independent, doing what you need to do. But there is some kind of night wanting to come in. It's a night. So it's a teenager kind of energy, okay? It's the two of pentacles. Somebody wants you to juggle. But you're not juggling. You're going to judgment right now. Everybody is. So you're evaluating a situation. You're keeping your eyes out your and your ears out like you're listening you're feeling you're hearing you're using all your senses right now to move you forward towards the hierophant towards some kind of structure discipline you have a goal and you're setting yourself towards that goal but somebody is a little bit intimidated by you because of your status or your position that you're sitting in take it as it resonates it's causing a tower though for a queen of wands. Now, this could be you. This could be energy around you. But it could be because you're beautiful, you're vibrant, you're magnetic, you're powerful beyond measure. Somebody judged you. But they're going through judgment, guys. 333 on my clock. Yeah, they're going through major judgment. Let's get... Um, let's get the other tarot deck and clarify this first, okay? And then I'm going to use um, the light shadow tarot. Wow, something just fell on my way. Ancestors, what is it? It's the magician. Wow. I already said this. You have all the tools in your toolbox. Somebody is trying to manifest. Okay. You could be the queen of pentacles. You could be hiding from an equation, from a situation. Because you're manifesting. You're doing what you need to do by yourself. You're very goal-oriented. You could be the new matriarch, okay? But there's some kind of energy that is, it could be a masculine and a feminine energy that is going through a tower. You put it where it fits, guys. Somebody wants to have a relationship, a partnership with you. Wow, Ace of Cups. I told you, Ace of Cups, what is this? Eight of Swords. See, it's coming out in reverse. Somebody is in a mental entrapment, but they got out of it. You have got out of some kind of stuck feeling. You had all the tools in your toolbox in order to get yourself out of it. Now, you are going passionately towards the things that drive you, inspire you. You have a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of encouragement, and you're the empress. You have been 
through all the trenches, the despair, the turmoil. You've been all the empress, uh, all the queens in the reverse and all the queens in the upright. And you got some kind of position, but somebody wanted you to be in an illusion. They wanted to juggle the empress, but you got out of something. And you see, and it could have even been a, some kind of matriarch, somebody who was older than you, who wanted you to be in an illusion about who you were, but you still managed to move forward. And it's causing a tower for somebody because of the love that you have. You have this agape love, and somebody is coming in fast after judgment, after some reflecting, self-evaluating. Somebody was in an illusion about your status. Eight of Cups. And this is why you moved away. You had all the tools in your toolbox. You weren't doing anything unjust or, you know, sideways. You were straight. You were solid. You were legit. And that's why the Seven of Swords is in reverse with the Ace of Discs. See? <laughs> that's it. You're moving forward towards this Ace of Discs through all adversities. And it's causing a major tower because people see your value now. There was a lot of people who lied on you. They lied. They said that you were, I don't know, conforming to some kind of outdated belief system, but no, you go against the grain and and you stand up for the injustice that has occurred. That's why this Queen of Wands is feeling like a little bit trapped. King of Wands, take it as it resonates, guys. It's because they lied. They lied and you walked away. And now they want to come back to tell you they're sorry. Seven of Swords in reverse. For the lie because they see you as valuable empress but they wanted you to be in an illusion especially about the love that they had for you it's the two of wands in reverse it says i am planning how to turn my this passion i have for you into something practical i want the best i want the best approach in taking action so it's in reverse somebody didn't take the best approach when coming towards you eight of swords So you got out of something. You got out of, um, wow, okay, look, my cards just blew up. You got out of something before it blew up. You seen something beforehand. Let me see if my cards are all in the upright. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got out of something right before it blew up. Because you've seen it. you got some kind of inspiration. you got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles there, Empress. Emperor, take it as it resonates with the rules, guys. Empress energy is just like loving, kind, understanding, respectful, generous, okay? It says, all of my life I was trying to fill a void inside of me by trying to do more. But now that I found myself, I feel complete and see extras as a blessing. Some You have completed something because of that heart. You see um extras as a blessing and somebody wants to come and be extra in your life but not in a bad way somebody may have been extra in your life that's why you had to move away but you knew that you did what you could when you could how you could as the empress standing on business everything you touch turns to gold you empower people you give them more more feathers in their wings so they can fly higher you don't clip their wings fucking crazy ass knight of swords See, it says, I have decided I want to pursue you and nothing is going to stop me. Ex expect uh, soon a lot of action from my part. So somebody is coming towards you, Empress, Emperor, take it as it resonates. Two of Swords, because they were in an illusion, but they're not in illusion anymore. All their life, they were trying to fill a void that was inside of them by you know, doing what was right for everybody else. And now they're not doing that anymore. Magician, two of swords. It says, I'm starting to notice all the shorts and signs and coincidences and realize my own power in creating them. I'm working on manifesting you. Somebody's trying to manifest you, Empress, but they can't really manifest you unless they do the actual work. They see you going forward through all adversities. Either way, someone does want to get in a relationship, a partnership with you because they see your value, but they can't lie. They have to tell you the truth. They have to be 100 with you. Ace of Pentacles is, since I met you, my mind has expanded to so many new ideas and ways of thinking in enhancing my brain power like never before ace of swords with ace of pentacles 
somebody sees you as valuable and has nothing, and I mean nothing to do with money. Nothing at all. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at that. Do you see that? You are valuable beyond measure. <laughs> and that's the fucking truth. It is what it is. That's why somebody, they have to keep it 100 with you. Seven of Swords. Let's see what that is. Wow, it says the Queen of Cups. I am amazed at how well you understand my feelings without saying a thing. My heart is so warm that it, your heart is so warm that it melts mine. See, somebody was cold as ice. They're willing to sacrifice their love. Well, guess what? You just fucking, you may have had to ice somebody in order for them to just, you know, feel that burn of you not being there no more. It is what it is, guys. At the end of the day, somebody can't lie to you. Why? Because you see through them. And it's amazing to them how you understand their feelings without them saying a fucking thing. Bottom of the deck is six of pentacles. It's because you're valuable. You bring a lot to the table, guys. You see, you're lit. I feel so rich for knowing true love. I now see how easy it is to create wealth when you know someone like you to love. So somebody is really building something. You're building something from the ground up. Somebody wants to pursue you, Empress, because, well, you're stability. You're strong. You're the truth. And since somebody's met you, their mind has expanded. Their ideas, their thinking. They may have even started a business or they want to start a business or maybe you have. Take it as it resonates, guys. Let's get the tea messages and see what's going on. Somebody sees you doing this all by yourself, really moving forward. They're intrigued by you. They know that you're not really doing it by yourself, though. Somebody may have seen you as a sitting duck, you know, like they thought that you were an easy target to manipulate or to use in some kind of way to keep you in an illusion. But it was only them who was in the illusion. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, it's a high road. You took the high road. Being single, self-sufficient with the Nine of Pentacles. You took the high road. You are completely unbothered by whatever's going on. You're brushing it off and you're moving past. And that's how you were able to really um, accumulate something in your life. To level up was because you mind your business and you do what you need to do for yourself. You mind the business that pays you. You're not gossiping. You're not slandering anybody. You're doing what you need to do for yourself. And people may not like what you're doing, but that's not any of their business. <laughs> At the end of the day, there's a lot of people that still want to come towards you because of your passion, your drive, your courage, and your intuition. Let's see what this Knight of Wands is. Yeah, because you're vibing high. I just said that. They're still coming towards you because you're the one who's vibing high. And you can show people how to get out of a stuck position. It says, good vibes, living the fullest, enjoying the present. See, you're too blessed to be stressed. You're completely unbothered. And it's got somebody really upset because they juggled you. And they juggled the empress. That's why you got out of a mental entrapment and walked away. Because you had love. You have the love. And somebody's fed up. They're fed up of juggling. Because you're bringing balance to whatever they keep trying to juggle. 1331 on my clock. Somebody's over it. Not having it and frustrated. Somebody's mad that you are not having any of this bullshit. You will not be juggled. You do not want to juggle. So you will not juggle. That's why somebody's going to judgment right now. Because it says throw in shade. Because people have been throwing shade. They have been throwing shade, trying trying to throw salt on your name, tarnish your image in some kind of way, criticize, disrespect, judgmental. That's why judgment is there with this. Do you see what I mean? Somebody really underestimated you. And well, let's just say uh, people are throwing shade at them now. Like they're like, you really fumbled that? That's what people are saying. You really fumbled that. Wow. Because somebody gave their heart. Chariot. Somebody is coming towards you to give you your heart. But there's a lot of people laughing at somebody in the background. Could be somebody from your past because they fumbled you. And it gave way for a new opportunity to come in. Something that is just for you. But you had to go through all adversities. Empress, emperor, take it as it resonates. To be able to get this new opportunity. Somebody showed you love. You showed somebody love. You had caring connections, caring actions. 
selfless gestures towards somebody, but they underestimated you. They treated you like trash. They threw shade on you to criticize you, to disrespected you, but they gave way for somebody else to come in to start showing you love, caring, action, and selfless gestures. Why? Because you deserve it. You deserve these flowers. Maybe somebody gave some, somebody else flowers but that were supposed to be yours. But no, no, they weren't. They weren't supposed to be yours as all, at all. Because you got the Hierophant here. You got a whole nother relationship coming in. And somebody's salty. They're salty. Somebody is so jealous of you. They can't do anything without you doing it first because they're copying you. Feeling wronged, bitter, dramatic, and jealous. Somebody is going to feel wronged when somebody starts treating you the way they should have treated you. Well, it is what it is. That's why somebody is feeling like they should spin the block and tell the truth. and it, Because they're amazed at how well you understand their feelings without saying a thing. Your heart is so warm that it, it, it melts this fucking jealous, salty-ass person who threw shade on you. You're vibing too high. You took the high road. You gave somebody your fucking heart. You got fed the fuck up from all this fucking shade throwing. And you walked the fuck away. Stood in your truth. And since this person has met you, their mind has expanded. And this is why you deserve somebody who's going to treat you the way you treat them. Well. Tower. It's causing a tower. Wow. And someone's being petty. Whoever's fucking going through this tower right now, this life-changing event, they wanted it for you. And they're fucking having a pity party. Being very fucking petty in the background. Immature, small-minded, insignificant drama. Now, there could be an energy. You're seeing an energy be very petty. Or another person can see an energy being very petty because now they're standing their guard. Somebody is salty as fuck because somebody's coming in to give you your motherfucking flowers. Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands, this Jezebel, it could be a Jezebel, is upset. Why? Because you bossed the fuck up. Somebody wanted to be you, but they couldn't be you. They couldn't even walk in your fucking shoes. They wanted to treat you like Cinderella while Cinderella's got that glass slipper. Eh? And guess what? Cinderella does get the Prince Charming eventually. Why? Because she's authentic to her core values. And people try to hide you for a very long time, my beautiful collective. But guess what? They can't hide you forever. You boss the fuck out. Up. You have this self-improvement. You have this independence. You live by yourself. You live vicariously through the experiences that you have already went through. You don't live vicariously through others. You don't want to be another person, another bitch, another guy. No. You lead the pack by being honest, by being authentic to your core values. And that's why somebody is being petty in the background. Petty motherfucking LaBelle. Because, Queen of Pentacles, you're standing on business. And you're the Empress. And it's graduation day. That's why. That's why somebody's upset. They did not want you to level up. They did not want you to boss up. They did not want you to graduate. It says leveling up, lessons learned, acquired wisdom. See what I mean? You got this. You're good. Thirsty. And somebody is fucking thirsty. These thirsty-ass chaos-causing fucking people running after that water truck just a bunch of bird ass bitches i'm telling you they ain't got nothing nothing of value they may have a lot of glitz and glamour and oh, friends but they are they they don't have true value seeking attention needing validation desperate and pushy and they're mad because you are not desperate you do not seek people's validations. You are telling people to move out the fucking way because you got things to do and what they're doing is not what you do. And that's it. That's all it is. What it is. That's how you were able to boss up and somebody is amazed at how well you understand their feelings. You're intuitive. And you're connected to somebody. And that, that, that's like, whatever it is, what it is. But you still learn to walk the fuck away because you are the ace of pentacles. And somebody feel so rich just knowing that they had you in their life for a little while because that is that's a blessing it is six of wands it's a blessing because you bring victory to people's lives you level them up emotionally mentally physically financially they may be only there for a season but it is for a motherfucking reason on both parts and you know this it says Six of Wands, every time we get past our arguments and get on the same level, I feel on top of the world and I succeed in all I do. 
telling you, you give people that boost in their morale, four of pentacles. So they try to hold on to you, but not actually give you anything. This is why the justice is coming in. And the ten of wands, somebody is burdened because they love you, king of cups. Somebody has a lot of emotions for you, but they're hiding them. So now they're feeling all fed up and shit. And somebody is coming towards you. So there's two energies or the same energy that is a little bit, you know, in between worlds right now. It says, I feel grounded in my emotions and I want to hold you. I'm letting other things or people, I'm not letting other things or people bring me down. I'm here for you. So somebody is burdened because somebody is going to be here for you. And you're never going to feel second best to anybody. You're going to have somebody who really validates you in, in, in not a toxic way, not an ego way, but actually like wants to see you do well, motivate you, you know, give you with those extra feathers so you can fly higher. This is the kind of energy, the kind of love that you want. And that is coming in, guys. Justice. Eh. Okay, so that's the King of Cups, right? It's got a lot of love. Justice and Ten of Wands, but it's causing them a lot of burden. It says, I tend to take on more risks than I can handle so I can distract myself from my feelings until I fall into exhaustion or illness. Somebody is ill, they're heartbroken, and they're fucking overworking themselves. Or they're not getting enough work and they're feeling like miserable. Take it as it resonates, Justice. I see now how my behavior has affected you and it's, pain it's a painful feeling. You did not deserve that. And I will make things right. Four of Pentacles. I don't like to share myself with others. I also hold on to things and relationships that do not serve me because I hate losing. Somebody didn't want to lose. So they wanted to look like the big bad wolf until they came up against you. You are the big bad wolf. <laughs> You know, these people threw you to the pack. You came off the leader. It is what it is, guys. You are bust up. You're the leader of the pack. And that's why somebody is so fucking so attracted to you. And there's a lot of people who are exhausted, feeling very ill because that's karma. Wow, emperor. And you got an emperor coming in. Hey, man, this fucking emperor could have been a thug, could have been for them streets. You know, but this is kind of like the best energy to have if they get their fucking mind right. But if not, then, you know, it is what it is. But this emperor may have to sacrifice something. Now, there could have been an emperor who sacrificed you or you as the emperor have to sacrifice something. Now, there is the emperor empress on my board, right? This emperor has to look at things in a different perspective. What did they need to let go of? Because clearly it says, I don't like to share myself with others. I also hold on to things and relationships that do not serve me because I hate losing. Well, someone's going to have to let go of that ego because they got a lot of love for you. And justice is coming in. They see how the behavior has affected you. And clearly it has affected them as well. They're just hiding it. They have a lot of love for you. And they're mad because a lot of people love you. But are you paying attention to all these people? I don't think so. You're too busy leveling up. Learning lessons and requiring wisdom through the path. And that's why people are fucking salty at you right now because you're over it. Unbothered. Brushing shit off and moving on from the past. Because you have all the tools in your toolbox in order to get you whatever you want. Okay, my beautiful soul tribe. So let's get some of these horror messages and see what's going on. Friendship. Okay. You have a lot of friends that want to be part of your soul tribe. But you also have a lot of doppelgangers. People who want to be you. But people are being seen and, you know, just take it as a fucking compliment because they can never be you. They're shapeshifters. There's a shapeshifter in your mix, okay? Animal in reverse. You see what I mean? They can't be animalistic with you. You see them for who they are. And that's why somebody is upset because there is a lot of people trying to manifest you, but they can't do this. They have to have a fucking straight up conversation with you and stop lying. You can't use magic. It's just going to push you away fire see what i mean it's just gonna push you away because you're standing up for yourself lies you see the truth you know that this world is really fucked up and it's <sighs> the bigger picture they want you to conform they want you to obey they want you to buy they want you to be programmed but look you're not shocked people are shocked they're shocked because you know 
They can't lie to you. Somebody has to come and tell you the motherfucking truth, the honest to God truth, and nothing but the truth. So help the motherfucking God. Because <sighs> friendship is here. Okay, so we're going to start with friendship. Friendship, American Werewolf in Paris. Has it occurred that you, uh, has it occurred to you that it might be unsettling to see you arise from the grave to visit me? Somebody really fucking tried to take everything you had, to call it for their own, to criticize you, to disrespect you, to judge, to throw shade on your name. Now they're fed the fuck up because they're going through judgment because just what it says. It's very unsettling to see you arise from the fucking grave to visit them. Somebody's ancestors, one second, okay. In the upright, it says, seek counsel from those who know you well. Somebody knows you very, very well, very, very well, or seek counsel from somebody who knows you very well, who isn't biased, who isn't, you know, egotistical or even jealous of you. Somebody who is honest, honest, honest. And they're coming in. Friendship, okay? It says, share experience, especially traumatic ones, can help forge bonds of friendship. Our friends often know us better than anyone, even when we experience dramatic transformations. It can feel as much like a curse as a blessing to have someone see you for who you really are. Recognize, however, recognize, however that even a friend's best intentions and guidance may be shaded by an ulterior motive. Somebody knew somebody very, very well, and they had an ulterior motive for them. And you know somebody very, very well, and you don't have a ulterior motive. That's why you walked away. You're not going to play games because if you allow the games to be played, then you won't be able to see the truth. You have to stand up for the truth. And it's shocking, people, because you're not shocked at the truth. You know that there's a bigger picture out here. Okay? Now, you're seeking counsel from those who know you well, or somebody should be seeking counsel from somebody who knows them well, or they feel knows them better than themselves. Because animal is in the reverse. It's that islands of the lost soul. And in the reverse, it says instinctive energy needs to be impulsive, though it can be. So somebody needs to relax, okay? They're very, in, like, they're doing things very fast and getting absolutely nowhere. They need to use their instincts. It says, when dealing with others, assuming one's superior superiority can lead to cruelty or worse, an extortion of power by fear or force. Somebody tried to extort their power by fear or force and now is recognizing that you ain't nothing to fuck with. Ain't we all hopeless animals in some form? Somebody judged you falsely when they ref refused to look at themselves or the company they kept. It is what it is because now it's fire. Fire, Frankenstein. <laughs> You're roaring. Wow. It says, in the upright, let it all come down. Something new will arise. You're letting all of this shit come down. And somebody is absolutely amazed. Absolutely amazed that you bossed up. You let everything go. You're unbothered. You're too blessed to be stressed. Your vibrations are too high. You're fulfilling your life's purpose. You are in alignment for the assignment. And you're allowing others to be in alignment for their assignment as well. You're giving people space. And uh, where is it? In the root, in the upright, yeah. So it says, it wasn't your decision to burn everything down. Un misunderstanding, miscommunication, ass assumptions of the worst, fear, ignorance. This is the ki kindling. And while it can take a village to really stack all of it up, once one person puts a torch to it, it all ends in flames. Consider, though, that the fire can also bring rebirth. And the ash nourishment for nourishes the forest, grows again, and marks a new beginning. Somebody burned the bridge, but they're about to swim or get, you know, a boat or something. They're going to figure out a way. I don't know. <laughs> because at the end of the day, they know that you have really built something new. And all these people's misunderstandings, miscommunication, assumptions, fears, ignorances, this was the kindling for this fire. And somebody knows that. You're out of the illusions. Let's get the lie for the last one.
So it'll lie. Lie in the reverse. It says, what role might you play in the current argument? Somebody is looking at their role and what they played in the current argument. Because it says, take a look. Somebody is out of the illusion. They're seeing the truth. And it may have been some kind of energy externally that caused this burning of the bridges. And well, you know, it is what it is. Number five, your walking change. Your this is this is amazing. There's something just just let it all fall. Let it go and fight for what's right. Stand up for the injustice. Midnight mirth, sadness, regret, and law, love. The feminine energy within you needs to be nourished. There's a feeling of sadness, which at times feels overwhelming. This may be due to feeling of unsupported. If you're a feeling you are not part of the crowd, then maybe it is time to seek out new friends, connect with new groups, to discover new places where social connections can be made. There is a strong woman in your life whom will guide you, support you, and influence you in your life. This is the right time to connect with them. You do not have to walk this path alone unless you choose to do so. Wise words are needed to bring sense to a current situation. You may be fearful of speaking out, but holding back will only bring resentment and anger and will prevent you from progressing. Now, isn't that the truth? So I love you guys. I hope this resonates. I hope this gave you some clarity today on your journey. Don't be scared to walk away because when one door closes, another one opens. Okay, guys, get it right out the mud. You have something beautiful. It may start from something small, but it will generate into something beautiful. You have all the tools, earth, air, fire, water. Put your best foot forward, reach the stars, raise those vibrations, and be unbothered by the bullshit, okay? Because you have graduated. And siren call. It says sexual gaining attention, lure by temptation. Be careful. Somebody is trying to lure you by temptation. They are not sorry. They're just sorry they got caught, okay? Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.